Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. It's about 11.40 a.m. here, California time. Latest activity on the globe shows a 2.1 earthquake around the Kilauea volcano. We did see a little bit of uptick in uh, the West Coast here, specifically California, over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, last night, actually, we did see a uh, couple of earthquakes early this morning time period, I should say. 3.1 down around the Pinnacles area, right on the San Andreas Fault. A little bit later, we've seen another 3.3 up here in the Gilroy area. This region has been seeing a little bit of movement here recently along the southern end of the Calaveras Fault Zone. Uh, also, some activity stirring up down south as well, near the uh, San Jacinto region, right on that fault uh, fault system here, just off of the plate boundary, which is the San Andreas Fault right here. Uh, and then I uh, also seen a 2.5 down south of the border. One earthquake way up north here around the Lake Albanor from yesterday, but it uh, seems as though things are on the increase out here across the southern portion of the state, roughly around, around the Bay Area southward. Uh, so we keep an eye here on Southern California uh, for some further movement. It looks like it uh, wants to move a little bit out here. Uh, Northern California, this activity here from yesterday, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, showing a little bit of movement out here uh, from yesterday, but uh, nothing so far today. Pacific Northwest, as you can see, a handful of smaller quakes out here, although nothing of any unusual activity. Uh, further up along the plate boundary here, got a little microquake movement up here across the uh, plate boundary of the North American and the Pacific Plate. Uh, maybe I wouldn't call that a microquake. 3.7 coming in along with a 2.1 uh, within about 10 minutes of each other. So as I mentioned, uh, things seem to be on the uptick here across the eastern area of the Pacific Plate. Up into Yellowstone National Park, a handful of smaller quakes there. Let's go uh, double check the seismograph station, see what we have for this area. Um, there's a little reading here in the last hour or so. That looks like a distant earthquake, though. Let me see where that's at. They may not have uh, reported that yet because it looks like. See, I'm specifically chatting about this one right here, this little signature. This is a localized earthquake here, a couple smaller ones. But uh, this looks more like a distant earthquake somewhere. Hard to decipher, though, because it is showing up over here across the eastern areas of the park. It could be, uh, could be anywhere out here, but I'm not really seeing anything showing up here locally that would give that type of signature. Uh, I know a two-pointer in Idaho wouldn't, so... I guess we'll see if they uh, bring it up here on the Earthquake Catalog book, catalog map. Texas, getting hit out here in the oil fields once again. Nothing major going on out here across the eastern portion of the country, aside from a little small microquake near Madisonville, Tennessee, at 1.9. All right, so what's going on out here in Hawaii? So got a little bit of activity stirring up out here. Really not a whole lot showing up on the map, though. Uh, mainly around the upper east rift zone. Let's go see what's going on from the ice or from the uh, volcano hazards map. We'll take a look here at the seismos and uh, the inflation data here on this Wednesday. Uh, mainly up around the upper east rift zone is where all this activity is uh, stirring up at. Still got uh, quite a few earthquakes here in the last 12 hours, as noted. You can see those well defined spikes. And, of course, the deformation data. We were on the uh, uptick in terms of inflation here last night. Looks like we've uh, leveled off here slightly with a little bit of um, deflationary tilt going on, but not a big deal. Uh, this comes and goes, as we've seen in previous days and, and in previous months. Uh, so nothing big, nothing drastic changing here. The overall trend is still climbing here in terms of inflation uh, let's see what we got here for uh, any updates here this update was put out yesterday so really nothing new to report here uh, in the area of Kilauea volcano the crater area looks like a beautiful blue clear sky out there on the big island 
a little bit of volcanic gas is seeping through the area which is very normal and it has been doing that for quite a while this up uh, this image here is put out today 8 30 local time there so about 15 minutes ago all right what else we got out here as we look out and about here looks man looks like we've gone quiet out here around this area of the world let's check out the uh, the globe which confirms the lack of activity here across Papua New Guinea Vanuatu area Fiji has gone quiet as well I know we haven't filled in here in this little zone roughly about Papua New Guinea eastward here to about the Fiji area along this plate boundary it's been awfully quiet we've seen uh, a deep earthquake here yesterday around this area but really nothing that would tell me that uh, you know things are uh, adjusted is the word I'm looking for because this area has been awfully quiet here in the past couple weeks and it doesn't stay that quiet for this long so I still think something's brewing out here around this specific area here's yesterday's quake uh, 5.0, 273 kilometers deep. Prior to that, a couple days, another deep earthquake. So waiting for some surface adjustment up here on the large scale of things. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be happening soon. Uh, but for the most part, uh, the, the western areas of the Pacific Plate have gone quiet. That's why I said things look like they're starting to stir up here across the eastern regions. That would include California, like we've seen a couple threes today. Movement up into the Alaska area. Uh, somewhat amplified as well so we'll keep an eye on things out here today middle america trench typical movement threes and twos even a couple fours in there south america about the same new zealand some deeper threes underneath this area got a little swarm going on here across the australia region it looks like some twos and threes uh, stirring up out here Starting to notice a little bit of migration here along the Java Trench. A lot of times we'll see this pressure build up in the obvious crunch zone out here and then make its way up along the plate boundary up towards Sumatra and the uh, Andaman Sea area. But um, nothing big going on there for now. The Atlantic pretty quiet. Mediterranean areas all look typical out there today. A little bit of uh, inflare activity overnight. We've since then uh, dipped back down into the sea flare category. There's our M flare. A couple of M flares, it looks like. Here's yesterday's uh, pretty decent X flare, X, at least on this map, map in X2. I think officially it was an X1.9. Uh, things should calm down here now that that sunspot, 3738, is no longer visible here on the western limb. Just barely. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to be geo-effective should anything blast off from there. And we're left with a uh, little mess of sunspots out here for a little while. Uh, I think if the, on the only one I am keeping an eye on here is this area. Showing a little bit of complexity here. These deep colors intermixing with each other, indicating some complexity within that magnetic core. That uh, is something to watch. And that's about the only one. There's some massive regions out here, but... They have all decayed, and I really don't see any signs of any growth within those sunspots aside from this area right here, and that's going to be 3751. Uh, overall threat right now still remains elevated at 25% chance for an X flare, M flare at 70, and the C flare possibility at 99% certainty. No major wars in the forecast, and uh, no major expected solar storms for now. Big, huge coronal hole up here, northern uh, area of the sun that will probably miss us uh, due to the uh, the Earth-Sun uh, plane out here. That's, that'll shoot way north of us. All right, far as severe weather goes here on the surface, well, eastern portion of the country and a little bit back over here across Colorado. Uh, they added a 2% chance here for tornado activity up here across the extreme northeast. That includes New York, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, Newark, New Jersey, uh, Jersey City, and Yonkers, New York. Wind and, uh, well, it looks like a little bit of hail threats out there as well for today. 
But um, just keep your head on a, a swivel, swivel out here and just keep your eye to the sky, I suppose, if you're out in this area. Nothing major expected, but still a little slight risk there for some severe weather. Um, let's check out the accumulated precipitation runs here over the next couple weeks as you can see lots of moisture coming back in here to the southeast texas monsoonal moisture into texas or into the four corner states a lot of precipitation out here i wish we had just a fraction of that here in california but it's our dry season and man has it been hot and dry out here it's just it's not good uh temperatures out here well it's uh it's just been hot it's ne almost seems never ending out here with this heat if we check out the assemble here um got a little bit of a cool down coming into the center portion of the country i bet that's probably nice but Look at that high pressure up in the Canada. That's absolutely brutal. Yeah, that's not bad out there. Look at those temperatures. Colder air coming down there from Canada. Uh, 70s out there for the afternoon highs out here. That's crazy. Oklahoma City at 71. Got some 80s out here. Some 90s as well. But uh, this area is going to be a little bit cooler as we head into the uh deeper into the end of this week broad scale 70s out here that is absolutely beautiful area or beautiful uh beautiful area and also beautiful weather uh 70s and 80s and uh you know it's kind of a nice cool down out there for those folks i just wish we had a little bit out here in california it's supposed to cook back up here around 110 as we head into the weekend so this is for friday 107 or so it's just it's brutal delta breeze looks like it comes in a little bit here for the weekend limiting the cooling area of the sacramento westward into the bay uh, but aside from that uh, it's just it's hot it's just it never ends it never ends i need a nice cool down all right so we got uh, like i say we got hawaii out here kicking up a little bit a couple more quakes here added to the map since I started this update and yeah, we'll just keep an eye on things here it's getting quite active seen a lot of uh, inflation going on here recently across that volcano all right keep an eye here like I said things are quite active out here along the eastern areas of the uh, Pacific Plate pretty quiet out here across the west but that could change at any time here have a good day we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening i'm gonna relax again i mean that's all i can do i don't really want to go outside because it's just a little too hot i mean i got gardens and chickens and stuff i gotta attend to but that's not gonna take too long i just i don't want to stay outside for any longer than i have to it's not fun in the heat have yourself a good day, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here later this evening. Peace out.